Good afternoon, good morning, uh, whatever time of day it is. This is the Retrotech 120p challenge, and today we're playing with Varth. It's a nice name, isn't it? Varth. Um, yeah, so uh, please do join in. What you do is basically you have as many practice goes as you want, and then um, you do a recorded run, which is two credits, and you upload that onto the Retrotech group, and you see who wins. And win, lose, or draw not the Danny Baker program from the early 90s, um, you will get to choose a game to go on the wheel. And if the wheel spins in your favour, that game will be played. Is it a game you're going to be good at? Ooh, that would be a good idea. You might end up winning. Um, so yes, the, the, please do an, go and have a look at that. I'll try and put a link in the, um, in the old mentions, the comments below. I always forget, but I will try to do it this time. So yes, this is Varth from 1992. It is a Capcom game. Um, uh, its full name is Varth Operation Thunderstorm, and it was ported to the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and PSP some time after it came out. It didn't come out on anything at the time, um, but it came out on one of them, or all of them, rather, um, in the sort of early 2000s. Um, it's very good. It's a nice little vertically scrolling shoot 'em up It's not a bullet hell. Um, it has little bullet hell <laughs> elements at times. It's a bit tricky. I don't think the um, uh, with the bullet hells, obviously, you get like a couple of pixels worth of clearance before you get damaged. Um, in this, you don't, and the ship's a bit slow. But other than that, I quite like it. It's one of those vertically scrolling shoot ups that is absolutely bloody harmless. It's a nice little, nice little game. Won't remember it in like ten years or whatever, but. <laughs> It's one I could go back to, I think. Um, and I might well go back and finish this one when I'm done. Um, it, the storyline it, to it is that a military supercomputer has gone all Skynet on the populace of Varth, uh, an Earth colony, um, and two ace pilots in planes. As you can see, one of them's not turned up for work. Lazy. Um, are sent to take them all down. And well done them. What heroic acts they're doing here. Um... It's a tricky one, but I can see someone doing very well at this. I think if you get enough power-ups, um, those little kind of things that flow around, fly around you, they do actually absorb a lot of damage. They sort of move themselves in the right place. You can set it so it's uh, manual, but eh. Um, so in terms of genital facts of the week, because there has to be one, doesn't there? Um, I've decided to go along with um, weather because of Operation Thunderstorm and we've just sort of turned into autumn the last couple of weeks so I thought let's just do that shall we um, so yeah it's about humans sorry animal <laughs> genital fans it's going to be about us Ugh, eh? bloody disgusting humans um, so yeah believe it or not um, we are um, a race um, of seasonal breeders our sexual habits will change depending on the season now you could tell that some of the porn stars on some of those adult channels uh, who seem to be working every day of the year um, but uh, they're different beasts aren't they um, so fans of sexual intercourse and I know there's a couple of you out there uh, will be very disappointed to know that autumn is the least sexy um, time of year I think it's down to of course summer sexy clothing is put away and um, more, <laughs> more clothes means less arousal generally However, um, us and, uh, and mammals uh, can feel more of a, a testosterone boost in the autumn. So that might not technically be true. Um, so, you know, keep your, um, keep your, um, your, your ardeur, your amour, amour uh, aflame and make sure that um, sexy costume from Smithy's is uh, has been washed for Halloween because you might still get some. I don't know what sexy costume we got. You got like sexy like priest or nun or nurse or 9/11 survivor. Just make sure it's ready um, and it's washed clean. Um, swipe the semen off or the, <laughs> the next day. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, if you want to get your pumpkin hollowed out, don't worry. Uh, there's still a chance that you're going to get it going to get things done uh, winter is chemically the lowest in terms of pheromones but cuddling up to a significant other can give you um you know a bit of warmth because obviously we're not allowed to use actual electricity to all gas to warm our houses this year because they've decided we should remain poor and freezing and cold so you might find that you cuddle up 
with a significant other a bit more. And, you know, one thing leads to another and a penis slips in a vagina. Um, winter, so yeah, although it's chemically the least um, sexy month, um, it's also, uh, you know, you, you can still get some there. Um, spring is a month where single folks see lambs and start thinking of dating in. Not because they fancy the lambs, because of renewal and all that, you know. At least they, like, all the plants go green again it's all about you know new things and so they think of new love and dating apps actually peak in popularity in the spring days as the uh, people venture out of their caves and go exploring the world summer is obviously when we have to avert our eyes from near nude forms lest we become a nation of deviants because those are usually on people much younger than ourselves who've still got bodies that um <laughs> that uh, are, uh, let's just say, very tightly formed. Um, so, yeah, you might think that uh, we, we're a bit hornier in the summer, and generally we are. However, um, it's also bloody hot, and uh, therefore, that uh, while well, our thoughts may be thinking of it, when the actual prospect of having uh, sexual intercourse comes up, then you're getting all sweaty and warm. And I'm just teaching you stuff you already know. Everyone knows that in the summer, it might seem like a good idea at the time. And you go, oh, it's too bloody hot. You roll off and you go to sleep or try to go to sleep with just a sheet over you. So I've just told you things you know about the seasons there. And that's the end of the genital facts, as my go is coming to an end anyway in a minute. So, um, yeah, please do join along with um, this Vartham up. And um, I'll try and find more interesting facts than the seasons. There's not many animals in this game. What do you want me to do? Um, so yeah, coming up on the channel in the next uh, week, I've got um, Dempsey and Makepeace on the Amstrad. And then the second part of Moonwalker will be the week after. So um, plenty to stay tuned for. So please like, subscribe, and then follow that up with a gentle but firm K okay, thanks bye. Enjoy your sexy Halloween costumes, you dirty bastards.